Hi, welcome to Palo TV. I'm Steve Reutstein. This is an instructional video for my Sound Design 1 class at Miami-Dade College. It's for an assignment called Cartoon. That's why we're looking at this wacky-looking cat here. If you're not a student, um, don't worry about it. Enjoy the video. If you guys like what you're seeing on the channel, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe and click the little bell. That way you will get notifications when new content is uploaded, including sound design stuff, plus electronic music production, sound recording, and music business. Let's get started with the assignment by going to the assignment page on Blackboard. And it explains a little bit about the assignment. The idea is we're going to take this video, listen to the soundtrack, and try to emulate what it did with our own sound. For now, we're not going to be doing any music. There is music in the original cartoon, but we're going to be ignoring that for now and just replacing the sound design elements um, that you can see listed here. There's 20 of them listed that you need to replace for this assignment. I'm going to be using Pro Tools, not Pro Tools First, because Pro Tools First cannot do video, but the full version of Pro Tools can. You probably don't have that, so I'm assuming you're going to use, uh, my students are going to use Premiere Pro. I don't have the ability to use that right now, so I'm going to show you how to, just kind of how to approach the assignment using Pro Tools. Um, I have already downloaded from the assignment page this um, cartoon file, which has the short excerpt of the cartoon plus the soundtrack. And I have imported it into Pro Tools. And here's what that looks like. I'm going to bring up the video window so we can watch it very quickly. It's about 30 seconds. All right, I enjoy this wacky little video. Going back to the assignment page, let me get rid of this. What I'm gonna do is just replace a few of the sounds, these first three. As I mentioned, um, there's a lot of music in here. We're not worrying about that for now. That's gonna be on a subsequent assignment. So for now, we're just dealing with sound design, sound effects, and dialogue, I guess you could call it, the cat. And I think the octopus says something. So I've got, I did it in a way that you also need to do something similar using Premiere Pro. You need to have the ability to see the video but not listen to the soundtrack. And I've got that here because I've got my video track here in Pro Tools and the audio that goes with it in sync, and I can mute it or unmute it. Oh. And now I'm muting it. And if I'm watching the video, which I need to be, I can just see it without the distraction of the original. But I, you know, as I would go about doing this replacement, I would probably go back and forth between muting the original so I can hear what mine sounds like without the original and then unmuting it for the next part so I can kind of hear that next part. I already downloaded a couple of sounds and there are um, a couple of resources that we have available. That's Those links are on the assignment page as well. And since the first two in the uh, assignment page are the finger snap and that little ding bell sound, which actually could be music, but I'm just going to use a sound effect for that. I downloaded those already, and I'm going to bring up the finder window here, kind of accommodate everything. 
you're going to need to, uh, once you start finding the sounds, you're going to need to import those into Premiere Pro. Pro Tools has a pretty nifty way of doing it. I've got the finger snap here. I'm just going to click and drag, place it here, and it automatically names the track after whatever that sound is named. And this happens to be a mono finger snap sound, so it Pro Tools knew. Um, however you want to do it in Premiere Pro is, is fine. And I'm also going to bring in this little bell sound, the same way that I did the other one. Where I put it is not that important now because I'm going to have to move it to where it goes. I need to be in a mode that I can slip stump stuff around. And because Pro Tools works with a grid for music, I, don't, I want to make sure that's not on. So I'm going to kind of slide it around. And I can even sort of cheat because I think... Maybe that little sound there is the snap, but you know you have to go with your eyes and ears. If it looks right here, but it doesn't look right, it doesn't look and sound right when you're auditioning it with the video, you have to move it around so that it looks like he's snapping his fingers when you hear it. Pretty good. I think it was a little off. I'm gonna try and move it just a little bit later. That looked pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna mute not only the original soundtrack, but I'm now going to mute the finger snap that I just put in there. And I'm going to drag this little bell sound pretty close to it, maybe around there. And the other nice thing in here, and I guess you can do that in Premiere Pro, is uh, kind of move stuff back and forth and see the frames. And I'm guessing that this bell sound probably should happen when that light bulb maybe hits its biggest size, it's going to guess. Let's try that. Go back to the beginning. Not bad. Let's hear how they sound together with the finger snap and the bell. It's kind of good. I, you know, I, the great thing is I can tweak it later. The last thing I'm going to do here before I save is I'm going to get that third thing that's on the list which is the cat saying, oh. Well, I'm going to do that using my microphone. I'm going to go to in Pro Tools and add an audio track, and I'm just going to call it Voices. I'm going to mute this for now so it doesn't sound weird. Hello? Okay, it looks like it's working. I'm going to rewind to the beginning, and I'm just going to record a few wild ones not really worrying about syncing up, and just try some and see how they come out. Let me get my transport up here. Hit record. Oh. 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 All right, so maybe I like that third one. I'm going to grab the trim tool and get that third one. Drag it more or less where I think it should go. Let's see. Ah, I have it muted. Let me unmute it. Take it out of record enable so it doesn't sound weird. Oh, not bad. I might have chosen another one, but you get the idea. And what you're going to do is you're just going to go through that list and replace them all. Um, the assignment page tells you that you don't really have to try to do it exactly the way they did it. You do the, the way you like. Um, some of the more challenging ones are, you know, figuring out what kind of sound would work for a fish landing on the deck of a boat <laughs> or an octopus dying and, you know, its head falling back. Um, the whooshing sound of the thoughts going around. What, you know, what I would do, I'm not taking the time to do it now, but I would watch the video with the original soundtrack on quite a few times, get a feel for it. And I'm trying to get the humor um, and really feature the sound design because that's all we're concentrating on now, the sound design and what you could call dialogue. Um, 
And there's some pretty interesting stuff there. You're going to have to get creative. I did mention here somewhere um, that you can use Foley techniques. And Foley, if you're not familiar with it, um, look it up. <laughs> I hate to say that, but I'm trying to keep the video not too long. Um, it's really enhancing or replacing sounds on a video or on a film just using stuff. Um, like if you're seeing somebody walking, you don't hear the footsteps. It kind of sounds weird. So in a Foley studio, they have different surfaces and different kinds of shoes. And you try and imitate that those footsteps using real footwear. Or if it's barefooted, no feet, no shoes, rather. Um, you know, if, if somebody is putting a cup down on the table and you don't have the sound, you get a cup and you put it on the table and you record it and that replaces it. That's Foley. And you can do some of that. If you think you got stuff around the kitchen or around the house that might work for stuff, you can do that. You can layer sounds together. That's done all the time in sound design to enhance the sound and make it sound funnier or more scary in some cases or just larger than life. Um, you can use your voice to maybe enhance some sounds or, you know, if, if maybe the squishy sound of the octopus isn't enough, you could do the old raspberry and go or something like that. I don't know. It's up to you. You're in charge of this. Um, once you're done with it, um, I've got all the directions here, how to submit it. Um, you're going to create an um, MP4 or a move, uh, like a QuickTime movie from Premiere Pro. And you're also going to um, export a stereo wave file of your audio mix. And I will have them both. If you were just doing sound design and not creating the film, you would need that stereo wave file because um, you would be giving that to the film person. But in this case, most of the people in this class will be the film person. But I need to hear that stereo wave file to just hear how wonderful it sounds. And I also need to get your either an MP4 or a QuickTime movie so I can open that on my computer and just watch everything, all the sound design and all the um, all the dialogue. And as long as you submit it by the due date, um, you'll be good. That way, if for some reason you need to revise it, that will be okay. The due date's on the calendar. Um, I think that's all we need for now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. And uh, if you have any questions, my students, you definitely know how to reach me. Anyone else who's watching, if you want to make a comment or try and contact me through um, YouTube, that's great. This is Steve Roystein saying adios.